All eyes on me, and I ain't Tupac. Hey, assalamu alaikum, peace be upon you, and peace and blessings. That was an inside joke. <laughs> uh, how y'all doing? Hey, I'm out here, Cape Verde, once again. It's a little hot today, and I'm in the, uh, one of the neighborhoods. I'm hungry, I want to go to this one restaurant, but it's across town, and I'm, I'm like debating on it, should I, should I go there? and eat or should I eat something locally here that's in my in this area so while I'm contemplating that and while you're sitting on the couch with your feet on on the top coffee table eating Captain Crunch and Fruit Loops won't you do me one hey one big favor come come on come take a walk with TAC as I walk through Pry one of the hoods again and you know what I'm talking about all right let's do this Back in the 70s, the early 80s, I was a young kid growing up in Eastside Long Beach, California, LBC. I became awakened because I gained knowledge itself. I broke the shackles in the cycle of institutional post-slavery destined to destroy the black man, the black woman, and the black child. But guess what? I'm here in Africa. Living it, breathing it, smelling it, tasting it. Bye. 
back in the 70s, the early 80s. I was a young kid growing up in Eastside Long Beach, California. L B C. I became awakened because I gained knowledge of self. I broke the shackles in the cycle of institutional post-slavery destined to destroy the black man, the black woman, and the black child. But guess what? I'm here in Africa, living it, breathing it, smelling it, tasting it.